Hey everybody, AJ McCorder here, your tournament director for the Hobie Bass Open Series, anchored by PowerPole, and we are here in Southern West Virginia, headquartered out of Beckley for the Torquedo-supported New River event. Today, over 100 anglers from all over the country traverse the rough terrain, flowing river and ch chasing elusive giant river smallmouth, a chance at earning a first place prize against a stacked field of river anglers. We had just under 400 fish submitted to Tourney X. We had a bunch of limits. And while a lot of the fish submitted were in the smaller sizes, there were some absolutely awesome smallmouth caught today. Big shout out to Jody Queen, Jim Orr, and Wesley Gray for all catching a 20-inch smallmouth today. Paul Averill caught a 20 and a half. And big shout out to Mike Hawks, and your current Yak Gear Big Bass for a 21 and a half inch smallmouth. That is a giant smallmouth no matter where you are. Uh, and that is an old fish and they are hard to catch in this river. So uh, shout out to all those anglers uh, for making it happen today. Just like that and just like we saw in practice, this river has some absolute giants. They can show up and it can make a big difference in your total as well as your final placement. It's easy to get discouraged after one day uh, on the river or on any body of water when it doesn't go the way you wanted. But day two with slightly cooler temperatures, uh, anything can happen. Uh, you know, different places, different opportunities, learning on day one, applying to day two. You can see how you can take a big jump uh, on this fishery, especially going from, you know, how it was today and what we might get to see tomorrow. For the most part, we had really great pictures, and I appreciate you all submitting early and often. That's especially important on a fishery like this where you know your equipment is a little bit more vulnerable. If something happens to your phone, uh, if it gets wet, if it sinks to the, the bottom of the river, anything like that, if your picks haven't been submitted to Tourney X, there's not, <clears throat> it's, like they never, it's like the fish that you had already caught aren't even there. Um, you know, unfortunately that happened to a couple anglers today. They had pictures, they weren't able to get them submitted. They had issues with their phone and now they, they don't have, uh, anything to show for it. So sometimes that's out of your control, but if you can control it, we appreciate you getting your fish submitted, uh, early and often we can get you feedback as well. Uh, and it just goes ahead and make sure that you don't have that to worry about any longer. But everyone, the pictures were great today. Appreciate you all. There's only a few penalties. There's only a few fish that we couldn't count. Uh, so thank you all for working with us and taking really good pictures. I know that can be challenging when you're also battling current and the other things that uh, a river system might throw at you. All right, got a couple things to touch on uh, that you all had asked either late last night or throughout the day. Just want to kind of set the record straight for tomorrow so everybody's dialed in. Uh, the goal with the 6 a.m. launch was to get you all in the water at pretty much the perfect time where you really don't need a light and the morning light and bite is uh, as good as it could be. I had a few of you all reach out about uh, having a 360 light, just making sure. And while that is a, a rule uh, for safety and in, in a lot of places something required to be legal, uh, if you want it and feel like you need it on the water, we, we want you to utilize it. Uh, but if you do feel like it's uh, good enough for you out there with the light that you're experiencing when you push off at 6 a.m., uh, that's okay too. Um, but because of the type of venue this is and what light should be present at 6 a.m., I'm not concerned uh, about a 360 light at that time. But I appreciate you all asking and making sure. We understand that the check in and out feature is not working as well as it could because of the service in a lot of our launch areas. We completely understand. No stress on that. Don't want you all to worry about the check in and out if it's not working for you. That's a safety feature for us and for Tourney X. It helps us know uh, where you were last. And in some cases, that's really important. Uh, mostly we want to know when you check out um, so we know you're off the water. Um, if you aren't able to check in in the morning and you can check in and check out at the end of the day, we appreciate that. We like going down a list and seeing uh, who all has been able to check out safely 
uh, when they get off the water and head home. Uh, there is some weather kind of moving through. The chances are kind of intermittent and, and they're not really sure when they might come or if they'll come. Uh, you all know this time of year, you, you always run a risk with some some summer patterns, some summer storms. So just be aware. Um, there might be some rain this evening uh, and, and there might be something in the morning as well uh, is the last time I look. So just about a 60% chance at certain times. So it doesn't look crazy, but be aware of that if you have the opportunity to uh, check on the weather and, and, and be prepared. As far as the times tomorrow, at 6 a.m., you can push off the bank and begin fishing. Yes, you can, you know, have your bank right on the water or your boat right on the bank on the water. Uh, so all you have to do is push off. Uh, you can even be sitting in your boat as long as it's still beached. Um, the big goal is that you're not actively in the water before 6 a.m. Once we hit 6 a.m., you can push off, pedal off, paddle off, and you are allowed to start fishing right then. You have it until... 301 for your fish pictures to count. So everything before that will count. Once it hits 301, you are considered uh, late on your on your timestamp. So we want to make sure that you set an alarm for 301 so you're aware of that. So it's a good long day for you all to fish. You want to make sure you stay hydrated, uh, maybe take some snacks just to get you through uh, a nine-hour day on the water. You also have till four o'clock to submit your fish. Uh, so that's another hour after fishing is over to be able to get your fish submitted into Tourney X. Fortunately, most of you all were able to do that before then, uh, but there were, was a, a handful of anglers that, that had to get their fish in in that final hour. So uh, appreciate you all working with that. We didn't really have any, any issues there. Um, we are going to have our awards tomorrow uh, right back at the event headquarters the Beckley Convention Center. Uh, we hope everybody can be there close to five, um, but you know we'll, we'll wait uh, for a few anglers to get back and, and get that going. We hope we're live before 5.15, uh, definitely before 5.30 if we can. So uh, what I will do is I will text the top 15 anglers and let them know that they've earned an opportunity to come back and, and have their moment on stage and uh, you know, be awarded their, their prize and, and uh, get to tell the anglers uh, and everybody watching at home their experience here in southern West Virginia on the new or Greenbrier, depending on where they fish. Please acknowledge if you do get that text and if you are coming back, uh, you don't, it's not mandatory to come back, but we do like to see you uh, and hear your story uh, on what it took for you to get into the top 15%. Uh, or even get qualified for the Tournament of Champions and go home with one of the big checks. There are three spots available tomorrow uh, for the Tournament of Champions. That'll be this November on Lake Chickamauga in Dayton, Tennessee. Uh, we will be paying out uh, over $80,000 uh, in that event, and we're excited to continue to get you all more details for that uh, as the season moves on. If you do want to fish with us again this year or for the first time, we've got a couple more events left. You can join us at the Mississippi River event brought to you by St. Croix Rods out of La Crosse, Wisconsin. That's going to be in just a few weeks. Uh, that should be a great event. Uh, La Crosse is a great place to fish, especially in kayaks. Uh, and we really enjoy the hospitality that the town rolls out for us up there. And then we're going to another fishing community in September out of Jasper, Texas for the Lake Sam Rayburn event supported by Marine Matt. So two awesome fisheries, very different fisheries, completely different parts of the country. So if you want to fish with us or you've been fishing with us, we can't wait to see you at those events. Just um, we'll get to the three digit code here in just a moment, but I do want to uh, give our top 10 a shout out and run through that you can catch all of this um, at the Tourney X page as well as the HobieBOS.com page for this event. Um, all the media from this event will be there. The final standings will be there. If you're interested about the event uh, and just from a detail standpoint, all of that stuff is there. That is our home base 
for all things Hobie BOS on the New River. In the first spot, pretty much led wire to wire today outside of a couple moments, but he was our first angler with five fish, and he is now leading uh, the charge in the first spot from Michigan with 81 and three quarter inches for his five fish is RJ Hoover. In the second spot, local favorite Jody Queen sitting with 81 and a half inches. He's got a 20 incher anchoring his five fish limit. In the third spot, another West Virginia hammer, Amos Hicks sitting with 81 inches. He's got a few really good fish uh, in his limit as well. In the fourth spot, Dusty Yacker from Illinois sitting with 80 inches even. In the fifth spot, Jordan Welliver from Pennsylvania sitting with 79 and a half. In sixth place from Virginia, Mike Hawks sitting with 78 and a quarter. Really helping his limit was that 21 and a half inch smallmouth. That goes a long way when the big fish aren't showing up like they were in this event so far. In the seventh spot, we've got Jason Broach from South Carolina, 77 and three quarter. In the eighth spot, we've got Wesley Gray from Texas. She's got that 20 incher in her five fish limit for a total of 77 inches. And she's tied with ninth place angler Abby Abendanza who's sitting with 77 as well. Rounding out the top 10 is Adam DeWitt from Nebraska, 76 and three quarter. Now, when you start looking through the Tourney X standings, it's pretty tight. There's a lot of anglers that have an opportunity to make a run uh, up into our top 15. This is the type of fishery that you can put up 85. You could put up 90 uh, plus. It's been done plenty of times before. It might not be the right time of year for that to, to really be showcased. But the fish live here. They are there. And we know some of our amazing anglers were able to figure some things out today that they're going to apply tomorrow. So we appreciate everybody's support in this event. It was great to see everybody last night. And we look forward to seeing everybody tomorrow as well. So before we sign off of here, I uh, want to kind of go over the three-digit code that you all have to write on your ID, your day two ID, or the back of your day one, or any sort of uh, temporary ID. I have to see these three digits tomorrow for your fish to count. So that's R2J. Have to see R2J. Get that written. Dark Sharpie. Got to see those codes. Be aware of the sun. Make sure that the sun's not drowning it out. If I can't see R2J, and your fish pictures tomorrow, we cannot count your fish. Simple as that. We make it easy for you guys. Keep a Sharpie with you. If you lose your ID, anything like that, you can just R2J on something else, and we'll be able to count your fish. So if you have any questions, anything comes up, let me know. Appreciate you all sharing, promoting, taking pictures of the beautiful scenery that's in this area, letting everybody know that, even if the fishing is a little slower, the fish are a little smaller than maybe uh, you anticipated that the new river is one of the most spectacular rivers. It's, it's incredibly beautiful. Uh, and there's really not much like it in this country. It is a, a special place and we're so happy to bring a hundred of our anglers into this uh, venue this weekend. Thank you to Southern West Virginia for their hospitality. Uh, really appreciate their support. Thanks to Elevation Sports, the local Hobie, and plenty of other brand dealer here in Beckley, West Virginia. Really appreciate those folks. And just thank you to all the local anglers and, and, and folks that were uh, a part of making our numbers uh, strong for this event and just being here for us. We really appreciate you all. Appreciate the support. We hope everybody is safe on the water tomorrow and has a, another great day on the New River. Uh, here in Beckley, West Virginia. Uh, thanks to again to, for uh, Torquedo's support of this series and this event. And we got to sign off with our uh, Power Pole uh, namesake sponsor. They have done so much for Hobie over uh, the years, and we are so proud to have them attached to the name of this series. So thank you all. Have a great day on the water, and we'll see you tomorrow.